Near water. There's a bath running. Look, if you're Jehovah's Witnesses, I told the last lot. I'm a Nisha in Buddhist. We're, we're, we're not anything. We're looking for Nina. Huh? Right. Is she in? There's no one called Nina here. Have we got the right flat? Have you just moved in? Yeah, I have. There were some girl here before. Oh, punky. Uh, no, I'm not punky. Victorian gothic, actually. She doesn't live here anymore. Sorry, I've got to switch bath off. Sorry. Perturbing. I know. She thought I was a Jehovah's Witness. Right, what next? to fill up, practically running on empty. Hmm, story of my life. Listen, she's probably just at a mate's, you know, who's got a spare room or a sofa. She might be having tea and toast at night and strong brew in the morning. If she has a friend to stay with, why does she keep coming to the cafe? Well, she can't get enough of you, babes. I, I should have been far more forceful. I, I, I should have tackled her, head-on, demanded to know the facts. What exactly has been going wrong? And not let her leave the cafe until she told me. <laughs> That's the person I want to be. Not this person who just seems to let things drift. Oh, stop giving yourself an hard time, Roy. Why? I'll be nothing short of dismal. <laughs> Sounds like the title of a Morrissey album. Come on, let's go to the petrol station. Well, we tried. Yeah, I shall telephone social services in the morning and meet us colleagues, see if they've heard anything of <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Roy, you've got a visitor. Oh, well, I say exotic dancing, but it was all very innocent and above board. But, well, you know, we made decent money. Oh, way up back. Hiya, Roy. Nina. Have I turned into the invisible woman or something? Uh, hello, Rita. Sorry, Rita, we just got a bit preoccupied, didn't we? Well, I was just telling Nina about my short time in the spotlight. Right, shall I get you all a nice hot drink? Perfect, I'll help you. It's just some scrambled egg. I didn't have a lot in. Can you call yourself a gaffer? <laughs> no, this is great. Thank you. Why didn't you tell me you'd been evicted? Embarrassment, probably. I understand that. I had to fend off some debt collectors. Sorry. Got myself into a bit of a mess, if I'm being honest. Where have you been sleeping each night? Sleep? What's that? Where? Different places, all over, everywhere, and nowhere. I think what Roy's trying to ask is, have you been sleeping rough? What you're trying to say is yes. You must stay here. Yes, you must. I refuse to be a burden. And we refuse to let you. I don't know. One night on the couch, and we'll take it from there. I think I can stoop to that. <laughs> <laughs> 